Welcome to another AMA Happy Campers RV Hookup Hacks video. I'm Liam with AMA, being joined by Steve Hawkridge, Red Seal RV Tech, who is also a certified propane attendant, which makes him the perfect person to take us through today's tutorial on hooking up your propane with your RV. All right, Steve. So what do we need to do to hook up our propane system safely? First off, we wanna make sure that we check the date on our propane tanks to make sure they're still current. Check the condition of the tanks, make sure they're not dinged, rusted, have any potential holes in them. After that, we're gonna move on to our hoses to make sure they're not cracked, damaged, or anything of that sort. After that, we'll turn off all the appliances in the trailer so we don't have any propane leaks. As we turn on our valves, either all the way on, all the way off all the time, never halfway because they'll leak. Okay, and does it matter which tank I turn on? No, you can have both of them on or just one. We do have a propane selector here. Depending on which propane tank it's pointed from, that's the tank you're, you're gonna be draining from first. And then once I've turned on the propane, what's my next step to make sure that it's all on safely? After that, we wanna go inside, make sure that our propane detector is functioning properly make sure the light is on and it's working. Then we go to the stove and we ble bleed the air out of the propane system with a barbecue torch. Okay, and once I have it on, if I'm testing this before I leave, can I just leave my propane on to keep my fridge running before uh, while we drive down to the campsite? It depends on where you live. Some provinces will allow you to have your propane running while you travel and only turned off when you go to fuel up. Other places, you have to have your propane off completely while traveling. Okay. What are some of the really important don'ts? What, what do I need to look out for when I'm hooking up my propane system? Again, we wanna make sure that everything's in good condition. Our tank valves are fully on or fully off. We do not wanna check our propane system with any matches of any sort. And we wanna probably stay away from things like catalytic heaters that rob oxygen from the trailer that aren't certified for Canada. That's a great tip. Now, with outside of those heaters, what about my household barbecue? Can I hook, cook that up to my RV? You can hook up your household barbecue strictly to the tanks. You can't hook it up to your RVQ because there's not enough propane pressure to get it running. Thank you, Steve. Now, before we wrap up, I have a really important question around filling propane tanks. Is it safe to do that ourselves or to fill our own RV tanks or use these to fill our smaller propane tanks? In Canada, I know they sell the adapters to fill the propane, small propane tanks, but you shouldn't do that. And to fill our propane tanks on our trailer, you need to be a certified propane attendant. Okay, and why is that? It could lead to a tragic explosion. Thank you, Steve, for sharing that really important information. Safety for our AMA Happy Campers community is always our number one consideration. If you're going to be doing any work on your propane system or even refilling your tanks, please make sure that you connect with your local RV professionals where you can find some listed within our community at amarewards.ca or by asking our fellow community members. Thank you so much again, Steve, for all of your fantastic tips on hooking up our propane system safely. And thank you for tuning in for another RV Hookup Hacks video. Make sure you join our AME Happy Campers group for future videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll catch you next time.